guys, it's me back again. Um, as I just said uh, from the previous video of the finished score squares, I'm going to go ahead and make the five star square bars now. Um, but actually, I'm going to go ahead and take a bite of my score square. It's very good. The smell was getting to me, even though I don't eat it very often, but I'm just going to wash my hands again. Seriously guys, go ahead and make the score squares. You're gonna love it. So the five star bars, it's kind of really um from what I understand it's like a Newfie. I'm from Newfoundland. It's a Newfie cookie, but it's easy recipe as well. So what you actually need is two cups of graham cracker crumbs. So have a make sure you got the right measuring cup for dry measure. You don't want to use a wet measuring cup because it's actually different. Um so two cups of graham cracker crumbs. Just measure it. Dump in the bowl. Um, it calls for two cups of coconut. Now, as I had just explained, I'm actually not a fan of sweet. I prefer salty or salty and sweet. It does call for two cups of coconut. If you buy a bag it says there's about two, approximately two and a half cups in here. It's a 200 gram bag. I just pour the whole bag in. When I when I measured it out prior, when I made them before, it was two cups. So I don't measure it really. Um, you then add again this delicious stuff, uh, sweetened condensed milk. It's so good for anything really, so versatile. So again, just pour that in. It's a, this is a simple recipe as well, like um, the score squares, it's not a lot of ingredients. Everything's in the one mixing bowl and it's pretty simple. It bakes for about the same amount of time as the score squares. Um, in addition, a little bit of vanilla. I never measure vanilla. Absolutely don't. I don't think you can go wrong with having too much vanilla in anything. That's me. I like vanilla. Um, it actually calls for a half a cup of butter. I've already got it melted here, so I'll go ahead and pour that in. And for butter, what I actually, I don't generally use butter actually, I use the Imperial Margin. You can actually buy it where it's already individually, pack, individually packaged in half cup measurements. You get 12 half cup measurements in a box. So it's just easier than measuring and scooping out the butter and putting it in measuring cups. These are half cup measures, you unroll it or you un do the foil and there's your half cup butter. If you need a cup, obviously you use two. If you need two cups, you use four. Pretty simple. So just like the score squares, again, you're just mixing to incorporate everything. The, this is actually, like I said, I don't eat a lot of sweets. This is my, and I'm more of a milk chocolate girl. So this is my favorite of everything I bake. This is my absolute favorite treat. I actually don't even really like to share them. Even with my husband, I'm just like, yeah, just have one, just a little one. I'll cut you a little piece because I don't like to share them. Um, so that's kind of what it looks like on the inside. It's just all stirred together. So again, with the score squares, it's the same thing. I actually use the same pan. Nine by nine, it works for me. Um, just put everything in here. Scoop it all out. And just like the score squares, spread it evenly. This is a little bit more sticky than the score squares, so you kind of got to hold on to the parchment paper just a little bit. Even it out. Sometimes if you wet the back of the spoon or if you had an offset spatula or a knife or something like that, um, sometimes it's easier to spread. I just kind of take my time, make sure to get it evenly done. I've already got my oven preheated to 350. Again, it's 350. Like the score squares, I do these for about 35 minutes. I just like the edges, a little bit more crunchy, crispy. And the inside actually stays quite soft on these ones here. There's no toffee in there, it's just the condensed milk. So, so you smooth it all out. There we go. 
scoop off from the spoon and put it in there or lick your finger if you're done with it. So here's the finished product. Um, I'm going to put it in the oven for 35 minutes. Again, depending on your oven, I have confection oven, cooks a little bit quicker. Um, 35 minutes. It's the same thing with the score bars. You put some chocolate on there, put it back in the oven, let it melt. You don't add anything on the top of it. I guess you can put coconut if you want or even sprinkle some graham cracker crumbs to let them know or a mixture of both. I've never actually done anything. I just do the chocolate. So um, I'll go ahead and get it in the oven, let it bake for 35 minutes, and I'll do an update video on putting the chocolate on and I'll come back and talk to you later. Okay. Okay, so the Five Star Square bars are about to come out of the oven. It's going to beep in like two seconds. So I'll grab those for you, let them know, let see what they look like. So there's the finished product. It smells so good. And because these are my favorite things of mine that I like to eat. Um, I put my favorite kind of chocolate on there. Again, I prefer milk chocolate over any other kind of chocolate. So because I like milk chocolate, I'm putting milk chocolate on. Because I might eat one or two or ten, who knows, right? Not that many. And I may have put the chocolate on a little thick. Because again, I like milk chocolate. So it's the same as the score squares. You just take it, uh, spread the chips around, just like that. Put them back in the oven for while well, the oven's off. Maybe two minutes while it um, melts the chocolate. So we'll just wait. Um, maybe, I don't know if anybody can read my shirt. It says, I'm sorry. Did I roll my eyes out loud? If anyone or anyone that really knows me knows that I like to roll my eyes. I know some people get offended, but for me, it's maybe a term of endearment. If I roll my eyes at you, it kind of means I like you. If I'm not rolling my eyes, then figure it out. I'm just kidding. I do enjoy rolling my eyes though, so. Um, I enjoy wearing this shirt to work, really. That's who I am. And I'm very sarcastic. It's pretty much the only language I speak. Throw in a little bit of Newfie with the sarcasm. And then I put my own spin on it and I call them Krenaism. So it's a part Newfie, part sarcasm. And because I come up with the crappy or sometimes funny stuff I say, I call them Krenaism. So that's me. But How's everyone's day going today? Mine's all right. Just waiting for the chocolate to melt. And when you're just standing here for a minute or two, normally a minute or two doesn't take that long to go by, but when you're just here, it seems like it takes forever. But while I'm waiting for the chocolate to melt, I'll just have a couple of milk chocolate chips. Because like I said, it's my favorite. Um, probably do another video tomorrow, maybe. I'm gonna bake cookies, I think. Um, they're a lot of people's favorite as well. I'm not gonna make my oatmeal chocolate chip. What I'm doing is putting some little uh, Valentine platters together to maybe um, people don't want to buy them for teacher gifts or if you have a babysitter or a friend or just to cheer somebody up. I'm going to do some little valentine platters and wrap them up and sell them for people. So, yeah. All right, let's have a look. I don't think they take as long as, no, they don't take as long as um, semi-sweet chocolate to melt. So again, offset spatula. Just smooth it out. And even more than loving milk chocolate, I love melted milk chocolate. Like, it's it's horrible. So, 
again. Sometimes I put a little design on it. And like I said, I don't put anything on the top of these ones. You certainly can. You can put graham cracker crumbs, coconut a mixture each. I don't. I, I think I've done it before, but I normally don't do it. Um, and again, the best part of that, I'm licking the chocolate off the spatula when you're completely done using it. Like I was. So, again, these take about the same amount of time for the score screws to cool. So I'm just going to let them set to room temperature. I try to cut it when it's the chocolate's a little bit not completely um, firm. I find the chocolate cracks a little bit. So I try and keep these out at room temperature. And then when the chocolate is almost firm, I then go in and cut them. Um, and I'm going to do the same size squares as I do for the score squares, but um, they probably won't be done tonight. So I'll do a updated video tomorrow of the finished product, what they look like, and cut them. And I will even eat one of them. I know I had a little score square, but probably have a little bit of bigger one of these because they're my favorite. All right, so please go ahead, bake these. It's simple. It doesn't take... A lot of people don't know how to bake or anything like that, or maybe they're not able to bake. Um, but again, if you're just trying out, you want an easy recipe to try to, you know, and it's going to show people that you did a really good job. The score squares and the five star bars are certainly a place to start. Not a lot of ingredients, not a lot of measuring, thinking, or anything like that. All in one bowl. There you go. Okay. So bake them, enjoy them. Let me know what you think of the recipes. Um, certainly want to know if there's any particular thing you want me to make or try, let me know and I'll certainly uh, do a video of making it for you. Okay. Talk to you later. Take care.